Welcome to AS and A level chemistry. Our topic for today is carbonyl compounds. So what we are talking about today is the carbonyl functional group which is CO and more specifically we'll talk about the two types of carbonyl compounds which are aldehydes and ketones. So uh, to give you a broad overview aldehydes have the carbonyl functional group and have a hydrogen atom attached to them and the fourth bond can be a hydrogen atom or an R group where R is an alkyl side chain and in a ketone we have the carbonyl functional group but instead of a hydrogen atom we have an alkyl side chain and on the other side as well we have an alkyl side chain so this is the main difference between aldehydes and ketones so uh, in layman's words uh, aldehydes have the have the carbonyl functional group in, at the end of the chain at the terminal carbon atom and ketones have the carbonyl group in the middle of the chain in the uh, in on a carbon atom in the middle so th these are aldehydes these are ketones we are going to deal with the reactions as we move further, further in this presentation and we are also going to look at their isomers so let's move forward now aldehydes so as i said Aldehydes have a carbon at, have the carbonyl group which is C double bond O attached to a hydrogen atom and this R is the rest of the molecule which can be an alkyl side chain or it can be a hydrogen. So let's look at the simplest aldehyde where R is the where R is an H atom is a hydrogen atom. So this becomes COH and again H. So you can see that this is this is an, uh, the simplest aldehyde possible, four bonds. So carbon has completed its tetravalency and everything. Now this uh, is called methanol. So methanol, uh, I am writing the spelling over here. Now the meth comes because of the single carbon atom. You know that the, when there's one carbon atom, we start the naming with meth. And then we put A-N-A-L, so methanol. And then if we have two carbon atoms, uh, so which in, in which case it would become. So this hydrogen remains permanent because you can see that this part for an aldehyde remains constant. Only this, uh, the other hydrogen atom, we will replace it with a CH3 group, with an alkyl group, with a methyl group specifically. So this uh, aldehyde is known as ethanol. And eth comes because of two carbon atoms and then the aldehyde naming. So methanol and ethanol. And if you have three carbon atoms, this remains constant again. Whereas this becomes CH3, CH2. There's an ethyl group instead of a methyl group this time. So now you can see that there are a total of three carbon atoms. So this becomes propenyl. So prop because of three carbon atoms and this, so this becomes propenyl. So methanol, ethanol, propenyl. Now uh, these, uh, uh, so this is how we name aldehydes. So we are done with the naming, it's very easy. And, but what we, uh, so what we have to, what we have to make sure about is that we put this, the carbonyl group on the terminal carbon atom. Now let's look at the general formula of the aldehydes. So this is CH2O. If you if you see, this is CH2O. Then this is C2H4O. If you look at this one, this becomes C3H6O. So the general formula for an aldehyde will be CnH2NO. So you know that the general formula, uh, so this is not only for an aldehyde, as we move further when we do ketones, you will see that this is the formula for ketones as well. So in general, this is the formula for carbonyl compounds, CnH2NO, this is the general formula, where N is the number of carbon atoms. So CnH2NO. Now let's look at some isomers, I'm sorry about that, let's look at some isomers of aldehydes. So Let's say we have something like butanol. So that's become CH3, CH2, CH2, CH. 
the aldehyde the, the carbonyl group will be at the terminal so that's why this is an aldehyde so this is butanyl as you can see 